How's it going everybody and this is part two of my uh, RIP magazine collection and as usual uh, these are not in yearly order and this is from 91 and this has Metallica on the cover and uh, they did a lot of interviews with them uh, back in the early 90s when the uh, Black Album came out it's from 93 this has Duff McKagan on the cover and uh, this was when his first solo album came out, and it, there's an article uh, with uh, White Zombie. And this is from 92, and this has Slash on the cover, and this Guns N' Roses were another band that they covered extensively in the early 90s. Another one from 92, and this has Nirvana on the cover. And this was the first uh, time that they're on the cover. This one from 91, and this has Axl Rose on the cover. From 93, this is the uh, John Bush era anthrax, and this was when the Sound of White Noise came out. And uh, another. Uh, issue with Nirvana on the cover and uh, articles on death, Danzig, Sepultura. And this is from uh, 95 and this is the uh, bubble logo and uh, I got my letter <clears throat> I got my uh, letter printed uh, in this issue and this is also the first time that uh, Marilyn Manson is on the cover, and this is the original lineup. And this is from 92, and this is uh, Kiss, uh, Revenge uh, Era Kiss. And uh, article, there's articles on Pantera and Obituary. This one, Sammy Hagar and Eddie Van Halen, and this is from 93. And uh, this is from 95, and this has uh, Billy Joe of Green Day on the cover. Soundgarden from 94 during the Super Unknown era. Henry Rollins and Maynard James Keenan of Tool. Seen Tool twice in, uh, at Ozfest in 98, and in Huntington in 2001, and I've seen Henry Rollins in 2001 at uh, X-Fest in Huntington. Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails, and I never really got into them much. I only have uh, <clears throat> the Broken EP and the Downward Spiral, and I have a remix, a mixes CD of songs from the Downward Spiral. Classic from 90 with Lars Ulrich on the cover and first um, the first uh, article with of the Black Crows and <clears throat> second part of a Sebastian Bach interview and uh, some really good stuff. Queen's Reich from 90. Another one from 90 which has Robert Plant on the cover. Stone Temple Pilots from 93. <clears throat> Alice in Chains from uh, 92 during the Dirt era. Definitely one of their best albums. Uh, James Hetfield of Metallica. And this is a really good issue. And this is from 90. Uh, this is from 95. And this has... Uh, this is a White Zombie on the cover during the uh, Astro Creep 2000 era. And this is from 94, and this has an interview with Nikki Six of Motley Crue, and, and I'm sure it'll piss off a lot of fans, but he says that uh, Theater of Pain is the worst piece of crap on the planet when I have to disagree. Alice Cooper from the uh, Hey Stupid era. This is a cool issue. Bad Religion from 95. <clears throat> Jeff Keith the Tesla. And this is from uh, 91. And uh, a rep little article on the death of Steve Clark. 
uh, another good one from 90, and this is Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley in Kiss makeup. Uh, and uh, this is during the uh, Revenge era when they shot the uh, Rise to It video. David Coverdale and Jimmy Page from 93. The singer from Jackal, and this is a good one from 93, and I've seen this band three times up at the rodeo in Chillicothe. Def Leppard from 92. Um, Jack Russell of Great White, and this is from 91. And there's an article on Rip Magazine's fourth anniversary uh, uh, party. Bon Jovi, this is from 91. Another issue with Trent Reznor on the cover. And this is from uh, 95, and this is during the Divine Intervention era. And uh, this is from uh, 92, and uh, Metallica got the uh, Band of the Year. And good one from 92, and this has Chris Cornell of Soundgarden on the cover when he had long hair. And there's an article with... Uh, Pantera, and it's got articles on Metallica as usual, White Zombie, and Faith No More. And uh, this is from January 93, and this is uh, Chris Robinson and Rich Robinson of the Black Crows. And that's been it for this um, video here. I hope everybody has enjoyed uh, my stroll through memory lane. By 96, by the middle of 96, the magazine started to suck bad when they started um, adding, when they started showing like uh, certain like alternative and uh, college radio rock bands. And then I remember back in 97, January of 97, I was at a Kmart's and they still had available. So I don't know when the magazine stopped printing. I'm pretty much assuming it was. 97 since it started to suck really bad <clears throat> by then I started getting heavily into Metal Edge and then um, by 2009 Metal Edge was gone and I don't really read much magazines anymore the only hard rock metal publication I read is Revolver I mean I used to read Metal Maniacs religiously but I lost interest and they're also no longer around Anyway, once again, that's been it for this video, and I hope you all have enjoyed it.